Yo, what's going on guys, Shoot and Run here, and today we're back with another Dust514 gun guide, and today we're going to be doing the SMG. So right here, quickly, we have the uh, standard uh, submachine gun, and this gun, it comes with a clip size of 80 and max ammunition of 480, so um, that's really good about this gun. It's got large clip size and a lot of ammo. So we're going to right here just go into some game clip, gameplay videos of uh, this gun. Um, the damage on these submachine guns are pretty weak. I mean, they're nothing comparable to the uh, assault assault rifles and, you know, shotguns and heavy machine guns. But they're, um, you know, they're, they're pretty decent guns for uh, this game. Um, the damage on the standard submachine gun is, uh, has a damage of 21 health points. And it shoots at uh, 1,000 uh, rounds per minute, which is pretty high for a gun, considering the fact that... Uh, the standard assault rifle has um, about three, or has about uh, 750 RPM. So I mean, that's that's 250 more uh, rounds per minute. So you know, it's it's a pretty big hike. Uh, the accuracy on this gun is uh, pretty good. It's it's 50.4, and you know, it's not as accurate as assault rifles, but it's pretty decent. All right, so now we're gonna go jump into the uh, breech submachine guns. So the breech submachine gun has a, a clip of 72, so it's smaller, but it really uh, makes a difference in the amount of damage. It goes up from 21 to 28.4, so that's a 7.4 increase in damage. And it's got a max uh, ammo of 480, so it's the same as the regular submachine gun. And the reload speed for both of them, for actually for all three submachine guns across, are 3 seconds. Um, and that's if you don't... Uh, upgrade the skill to make reloads faster on submachine guns. So, um, also something that I forgot to mention about the uh, standard submachine gun is it's the it's got the same CPU and PG as the uh, standard breech rifle, which is 15 CPU and 3 PG. But something to notice about the breech rifle is that the rate of fire on this gun, the rounds per minute, is actually um, a little more than half of what the uh, standard submachine gun is standard submachine guns a thousand uh, rounds per minute while this one is only 500 uh 535.7 rounds per minute so i mean it is it does seem like it's increasing like incredibly a large difference in the uh, rounds per minute but it really does make up for the amount of damage this gun can deal um so yeah the, these guns are pretty good but the one thing that i noticed with these guns is that being the submachine gun they are they really are not effective at long range um, and it seems like a lot of these gunfights are meant for long range, so submachine guns, um, I really recommend them, ca recommend carrying them as secondaries. Alright, so now we're going to be jumping over to our, t uh, assault submachine gun. The assault submachine gun does a damage of 21, so it's got the same damage as the submachine, as the regular submachine gun, but it has a higher, uh, higher rounds per minute. It comes with 1,052.6 rounds per minute, so that's 52.6, uh, more rounds than uh, the standard submachine gun so I mean it's so I mean overall it is better than the standard submachine gun the accuracy is decreased but that's only by 0.1 so I'm you know it's it's really not that big of a difference so if you're gonna be coming if you're gonna be going with the standard submachine gun um, or the assault submachine if you guys don't know which one to choose by pick the assault submachine gun or the breach submachine gun because the submachine gun the standard one really doesn't make a difference um, if you just want to use that. It's not uh, as effective on the battlefield as, you know, the tier 2 submachine guns. Um, so this submachine gun comes with the standard 80 uh, round clip as the regular submachine gun, and it actually has uh, an extra max ammunition. It comes with uh, 504 rounds instead of uh, 480. So that probably makes up for the amount of rate of fire, the rate of fire that you go through, and it's got the standard three uh, second reload speed. But what's odd about this gun is that the CPU and the PG is actually higher. The CPU for this gun is actually 18, and the PG is four, so it's a little higher than um, than the st standard submachine gun or even the breech rifle. You would think that breech rifle and assault rifle would be the same, but they're uh, different. So that's kind of odd. But what I really noticed about these submachine guns is they are good guns on the battlefield only if you have a certain play style when you use them. Um, I would recommend playing uh, aggressively and, you know, trying to get to those close quarters uh, combat situations or use these guns as your secondary because what's actually cool about these guns is 
um, you can use these as a primary and secondary. So you could have your uh, GEC 38 assault rifle as your primary, and then if you get into those really close quarter situations, you can always pull out that uh, submachine gun, whichever one you want to use, the assault or the breach or the standard, and you could quickly take out guys that are close to you um, with a lot of ammo and accuracy and some pretty good damage. So, I mean, these guns are really good uh, at close range. Long range, they don't really make an effect because they are submachine guns. Um, so I would recommend using these guns as secondaries and keeping an assault rifle as a primary. So, yeah, guys, that's my uh, review on, or my guide on the submachine guns in Dust 514. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe uh, for some more videos. And thanks for watching. Peace off.